Time to light the grill, break out the fixins, and get to tailgating. Here's Heidi Glaus. We're making Chipotle burgers today. All right, does that mean it's extra spicy? It is going to be extra spicy. Um, well, it can be. You can just tone it down. I, I left some of the seeds in with the Chipotle pepper, so it's actually going to be pretty, pretty spicy here um, for this version. And it's a little different than most burgers in that it's, I don't just use uh, just burger. I use a half a pound of pork to a pound of ground sirloin. So you get the really meaty beef, but you also get the extra flavor of the pork, and it makes for a really hearty burger. So what you're saying is you're making it more fattening. Yeah. <laughs> Fat is good. Fat <laughs> is good. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Fat is good. All right, so what else do we need? Um, so we're going to have a little garlic, salt, and black pepper, chipotle peppers, and the adobo sauce that it comes in. Now, these two things are very important. They're very great. All right, so let's put it all together. So we have, what we have is we have ground pork and ground sirloin, okay? And uh, the ground sirloin is not that fatty, but the ground pork adds the fat back into it, so you get the really beefy flavor of the beef and then the, the sirloin here, and then the pork. And then I got salt and black pepper. Okay. Well, okay, here's the rest of the salt. I put it on my shot glass. Um, garlic, just a teaspoon. Um, a teaspoon of the, of, of the adobo peppers and then the, uh, the chipotle peppers in the sauce. And then we're, we're gonna get our hands dirty. All right. And then you gotta, you gotta just kinda work these in and you gotta make them into patties. But if it was just the beef, you could just mix it up really quick, but since it's beef and pork, you, you gotta make get sure. It even? Yeah, otherwise you're gonna have a pork burger and a beef burger, and then you wanna get it all mixed in there well, and you wanna get the salt distributed, you know, amongst it. But you wanna be able to see the little adobo peppers or chipotle peppers coming out of there. All right, since you have pork in it, do we need to cook it a little differently on the grill? Well, you need to make sure it's a good 150, 160 degrees or so on the grill, so it's going to be, it's it, all the fat's cooked out and it's, it's well, it's done, so there's no, you know, no possibility for disease or anything like that. So the, the secrets in the spices before we even throw it on right. the grill? Right, spices and the toppings, you know, I mean, you can just, you can do a burger and a cheese and it's good and it's delicious, but this is taken to another level. Yeah, look, see, little peppers yeah okay a pepper and in every bite basically and those peppers are going to nice they're going to brown nicely you're going to roast the peppers on the grill here so now we take these these burgers here and you slap them on a grill um, we got charcoal on one side and no charcoal on the other so that once they're kind of done you can slide them over with no heat and throw some cheese on them in this case we use some munster munster cheese you can use mojack you can use Kobe jack you can use all kinds of cheese on there all right so we're going to shut the lid and let them cook for how long uh, maybe 10 minutes, depending on the, the, the heat of the grill, flipping them to make sure to, so I'll keep checking on them and roll them over a couple times to make sure they're done. All right, you think they're done? Yeah, they're done. That cheese is all nice and melty and gooey and ready to go. Now, um, you can use lettuce, um, but to really kick this thing up is to take it, take some cilantro and use that as your greenery here. That's a here. great idea. And then, um, and then some uh, creamy, creamy avocado, and this is some fresh avocado, so it's nice and creamy. And then we got some red, red tomatoes here to kind of, mm. it's almost like a Christmas burger. Yeah. All right. All right, that's it. And that's just one of about 230 recipes that you'll find on grillingfools.com. Don't go anywhere. There's more of the Rams Tailgate Show coming up in just two minutes.